Hey guys, I'm Jim. I edit photos. Thanks for stopping by. Today I'm in Luminar AI and I'm just having a quick just run through a photo. I'm just having a lot of fun, frankly. It was kind of a beautiful sunset. Well, let me show you. Here it is. I'm in the middle of uh, cropping it in Composition AI. I just selected 16 by 9. This was shot with my Olympus camera, which is micro four thirds, uh, a number of years ago. And I like the photo, but to me, there's a little too much dead space in the sky and more of the action is basically uh, from where I've cropped it and below. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and just crop that and kind of tighten up the scene. There was these uh, people walking along this deserted beach. I was up on the hill above it and anyway, it just kind of looked cool. So I wanted to make some edits to this thing. So I'm going to start with Accent AI. I'll often start with Light Tool, but for some reason on this one, I just went ahead and started here. I also added Sky AI of about 33. And immediately, you know, it's just a big impact on the photo because there it is before and there it is after. And that's one of the things I love about these tools. And frankly, just a, a quick couple of sliders and boom, you've got a much better looking photo. So I'm liking that quite a bit. I'm going to go ahead and move down to the light tool now. And I'm going to cool this off a little bit, even though it's a sunset. I'm still going to pop those colors, but I just wanted to pull this down just a little bit. And I'm going to pull the tint up, which is, whoops, not that much. Something I do pretty much on every sunset. I just like that kind of look of having that uh, magenta kind of cast on my sunsets. I think it goes really well with kind of the golden light. And I think it plays well with some of the blues as well. So there's that. And then a uh, little contrast and pull down highlights. Something about like that. I think we're in pretty good shape so far. Let me show you the before. There it is. And there's our current state. So next thing I want to do is... Uh, reduce structure in the sky. So that's quick and easy. I'm just going to drop the uh, amount on structure. I'm going to grab the mask here, gradient mask, and then I just drop that onto the sky. Something like that, quick and easy. And, you know, basically I've just softened up the detail in the sky. There's a little bit of noise and there it is before and there it is after. Now that I have the mask in place, I can, uh, I can you know, further enhance that if I wanted to, but I'm okay with it like it is. I want to go ahead and jump next into color and do a few things here. I'm going to start with the overall vibrance. I'm going to give that about a 10. And then here I want to uh, pop some of those warmer colors and reduce the blues. So I'm going to take the reds up about 20 something and the same with the oranges. Uh, but the blues I'm going to pull down about a negative 20. You know, about the same as uh, negative blue as I'm going positive on the other ones. I just felt like there was a little too much blue here and not enough of those warm tones. So if I turn this off, that's what it looked like beforehand. And that's what it looks like now. It's kind of subtle, but it's a nice little pop. But um, the warm tones are nice. I want to bring those up. And that's where Golden Hour just excels. I'm going to go ahead and pop that. Uh, I go to about 45 here. And that really brings that sunset to life. You can see that warm glow coming in. Now it's just kind of you know, casting itself across the entire photo. I just love that look. So there it is before. Slightly softer, even with the bump in the saturation of the reds and oranges, didn't do a lot, but it helped a little bit. But this golden hour is just the perfect filter for golden hour, uh, surprisingly, and uh, you know for uh, for any kind of sunset. And if you look at the water here, you can see that warmer kind of pinkish orange is across the water. But when I turn this on, it's really coming in strong there. I just think that looks great. The other thing, if you look at the sand on this left hand side over here. Sand is a little bit more muted, and now it's got a little bit more warmth, including some color being picked up here in the bottom. I just, Golden Hour is fantastic. It's one of the best filters, I think, anywhere in like any product. I just absolutely adore it. Um, a couple more things, and then we're done. This is going to be just kind of a quick edit. I'm going to go to Mystical. I haven't been using that in any of my recent videos. I'm going to go to like, you know, low 30s here. If I turn this off, there it is before Mystical. And then when I turn that back on, you can see it creates a little bit of a soft glow. It creates a little bit of a contrast. The dark parts get a little bit darker. The bright parts get a little bit of a glow to them. I just like it. And Mystical is, I think, a great name for it. So there it is before and after. I think it works well here. Also notice it picks up because it's creating that contrast and the white or the brighter parts are getting a little bit of a glow, it's really kicking kind of those white caps here of the uh, incoming waves. So there it is beforehand, and there it is after. I just think that looks really nice. And the last little bit to wrap it up is Super Contrast. It's a great tool. I did a deep dive video if you want to check that out. Uh, usually what I do is I just come over here and I just ad adjust um, all three of these and kind of see how they look. So I went and I did that here. I just pulled up the shadows, the midtones, the highlights, all three of these a little bit. And then what I do is I go play with the balance slider. And basically what I landed on was that I wanted to do a little bit of balance here in the highlights and none anywhere else. And so if I turn this off, you can see there it is beforehand and there it is after. It's really 
tamed some of the brightness. If you look at the sky, look up there, it's a bit brighter, and this has allowed me to really tame that quite a bit, create a richer color because it is contrast. And so when you're creating that difference between bright and dark, you're gonna pop color as well. I think it does a great job of that. It actually, I think, also accentuates the mystical that I used up here in that uh, previous filter, right? So that mystical, I think, is popping a little bit more now because, again, that creates a little bit of contrast and a little bit of glow. So this super contrast, especially with the highlights and the highlights balance, if I turn that off, there it is before and there it is now. I just think it makes the photo look rich and it frankly, it completes it for me. So that's my full edit. I mean, it's quick and easy. I went from that photo, which frankly, it was colorful. It was nice, but it's kind of muted. It just doesn't look that great. And I think that's really brought it back. Now that I look at it, I actually might come back here to color and pull that blue down a little bit more maybe go to about 35 or something like that, just to kind of pull it down. I don't want to overdo the blue and I definitely want the warmth to come through, but I think we've got a, a fine looking photo, my friends. Here it is, uh, the sliding window, kind of the before and after. And I just think that looks rich and beautiful and, uh, and, uh, and awesome. So a little bit biased. I mean, I took the photo, I edited the photo, but and keep in mind, I like my colors. So if it's too saturated for you, hey, that's an easy enough fix. That's what this color tool does so well. But that's how I edited this one, my friends. Quick, easy, powerful. It's just a simple few moves and you stack them and stack a couple of different filters and you end up taking a photo that's kind of blah, kind of bland, almost kind of colorless. And now, it is anything but colorless, my friends. That contrast really helps too at the end. So that's how I did this one. I hope it gives you some ideas for your own edits. Thanks for stopping by. Take care of yourselves out there, my friends. Come back soon. I'll be back here with more stuff as soon as I can. Take care of yourselves. I'll see you in the next video, my friends, and adios.